Hello everybody, Jamie here with KerplunkGaming.com doing a tutorial today on how to edit the server.properties file. So with our new game panel, it's extremely easy to do this. All you need to do is go to game.kerplunkgaming.com, log into your account. Here we go. Hopefully I've got the password right. Looks like I do. So you are greeted with your dashboards. Your dashboard lists all the services you have open with Kerplunk Gaming. So right now I've got two Minecraft servers and a Mumble server. And to edit these, you click anywhere in the table which they are listed or on the title. But of course you can also go to a header, hit my services and click on any of these to edit them. So I do want to edit my vanilla server and uh, get that sorted out. So. You are greeted again with another window. This is our edit server window. Here we've got five sections. We've got the edit general config, default config files, install updates, reinstall server, and file manager. So today we're going to be looking at config config default config files. All right, click on that. It'll do a nice little animation. And the number one there says server.properties. You just want to click on edit right there, and you'll go to our web-based editor, which is fantastic. So the most common thing you'll be probably editing is either allowing nether or your level name. So you can change those just right in here. But one word of warning, make sure you do not change anything in behind this equal sign. The server and Minecraft itself actually looks specifically at these words. So it looks for allow hyphen nether all in lowercase. If you change that, the server just won't recognize it and just assume that you don't want it there. So you want to not edit anything before the equal sign, only edit things after the equal sign. So these are allow nether is actually something what is called a Boolean. So it's either true or false. It can't be anything else. That's what a Boolean is. And uh, we don't want it to be something like no or zero or one or anything like that. It's either true or it's false. Not nothing in between. It's true or false. So I do want true on my uh, on my allow nether so people can access the nether on my server. And then uh, you also have inputs of things that are called strings. So level hyphen name, which again, you don't want to edit anything in behind the equal sign. This is what's called a string. So you can set this to any amount of characters that you want. Um, so world two is the server that I have generated right now. But uh, if I want to set it to another, another thing, uh, I would be more than happy to do that. But of course, we do also have a video on world management, which goes a lot more into detail on what this level name and level seed actually means. So, if you're wondering what any of these uh, any of these uh, actual properties mean, the uh, the Minecraft Wikipedia page has, or the Minecraft Wiki, my apologies, the Minecraft Wiki page has an awesome section on server dot properties. If you look up, if you just Google server dot properties, this will be the first hit, and it tells you every single server property and what they mean. So allow flight, it's a boolean, and its default value is false, and it tells you exactly what true or false does. This is a very great resource if you're trying to edit your server dot properties file. So as soon as you're done your editing, you just want to hit save and then it'll save it and edit the, and apply it to the server. If you hit back, all you need to do is hit restart for these changes to take effect. And there you go. You have edited your server.properties file correctly. If you guys have any more questions or concerns, please go to our knowledge center, which I've linked down below, or send us a support ticket at contact at kerplunkgaming.com. Thank you again and have fun playing Minecraft.